Hello again and welcome to MSHA University at MSHAU.com, your education and training resource for miners and mining contractors. Today we're going to talk about MSHA's One Call Does It All initiative, where MSHA provides a single centralized phone number that performs several functions, and we'll talk about those in a moment. But since this initiative is primarily focused on emergency reporting, it's very, very important to understand that if there is an emergency, the first thing you should do is dial 911. Now, if you don't have 911 services in your area, absolutely call the hospital, the fire department, any other emergency services you have at your disposal. But the point is, do that first if there is a life-threatening emergency at your mine. Now, after you have secured emergency services to take care of anyone who has been injured, or to call for fire help, here is the number to call MSHA. So, when do you call? Absolutely after you have secured 911 or other emergency services. Then, MSHA requires that mine operators report emergencies within 15 minutes of either knowing or when they should have known about the emergency. Why call MSHA? Well, MSHA requires notification in the event of a death or injury at the mine a fire or explosion at the mine, inundation, entrapment, collapse, or equipment failure, or to report a hazard or request an inspection. Now, this type of reporting also includes any events at the mine that cause injury or damage outside of the mine as well. Now, when a mine operator calls MSHA to report an emergency, they're going to be required to provide the mine operator name, the mine ID, and this is a special number provided by MSHA, the description and nature of the emergency, the details and location of the fatality or injury. And we'll talk about how to do that specifically in just a moment. Now, in addition to notifying MSHA by phone, MSHA expects mine operators to fill out and complete a mine accident injury and illness report form 7000-1. On the form, you'll need to identify the accident using these codes. You'll need to identify the location at a surface mine where the accident occurred using these codes. Or at the underground mine location using these codes. You'll also need to identify the underground mining method using these codes. Title 30, Code of Federal Regulations, Part 50, outlines rules and requirements for mandatory investigations following an event at a mine. The regulation covers notification, investigation, and preservation of evidence, reporting of accidents, injuries, and illnesses, quarterly employment and coal production reporting, and maintenance of records and verification of information. So MSHA's One Call Does It All is really only the start of a process that includes notifying MSHA by phone, officially documenting the event via the 7000-1 form, and following up with required investigations. Once again, we hope you found this helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and visit MSHAU.com for lots of additional information on this topic and much, much more.